Hi everyone, in this problem we have to find the slope of the function at 0, 0. So remember that the slope is simply the derivative. So all we have to do is take the derivative and plug in the value of theta equals 0. Alright, so let's do it. So f prime of theta is equal to Okay, so when you take the derivative of sine, you simply get cosine. So the 8 here just hangs out, um, so you get 8 cosine theta. Now, if the 8 was by itself, the derivative would be 0, right? Whenever you have a constant by itself, the derivative is 0. But because you have, like, some stuff here with theta, it kind of just hangs out. And then minus, and the derivative of theta is 1, so just 1. Okay, so this is the slope. This is like a slope function. All you do is you plug in theta, and it gives you the slope at that number. So in our problem, uh, it's not x, it's theta, and our theta is 0. So f prime of 0 is equal to 8 cosine 0 minus 1. So cosine of 0 is 1, so we get 8 times 1 minus 1, so we get 7. Now, if you're unsure, you know, why the cosine of 0 is 1, you have choices. You can use the calculator and put it in your calculator, or um, you can memorize it. I have it memorized, or <laughs> you can think of the unit circle. So on the unit circle, every ordered pair is of the form cosine theta, comma, sine theta. And so this is 0, this is pi over 2, etc. So we're at the angle zero, so we're here at zero. So at this point on the unit circle, we're at the coordinate one comma zero. So that means that the cosine of zero is equal to one and the sine of zero is equal to zero from the unit circle. So we just care about this one and that's how we got the one. So, oh, and this would be the slope. And so that's it, that's the whole problem. So all you do is take the derivative and plug in the number. I hope this video has been helpful, good luck.